What's going on YouTube? GSNow right here. Remember when I said that Coolstar believes Electra can be updated with no problem for iOS 11.2 and iOS 11.2.2, 2.2.1 if a kernel exploit will be released? Well, that kernel exploit might be closer than you think, and I'm going to show you why. If you take a look here on the security content of the iOS 11.2.5 that Apple has published, you're going to see that there is a kernel bug. In fact, there are a couple of them, one of which from Google Project zero but there is also another one in here the third one that we're interested in this one in here comes from Ross Cox of Google and it says in here the standard canned response uh, a malicious application may be able to execute arbitrary code with kernel privileges and of course it's compatible with the iPhone 5s and later and uh, when asked on Twitter whether he is going to release the bug by uh, Francois Laroche uh, he says in here Yes, will tweet a link when I do. And he also follows it up with, uh, honestly, not that interesting. You will be disappointed. Well, I do not know what it means, and I do not know what he means by you will be disappointed or honestly not interesting. Depends, it's absolutely relative. But um, since it is the first bug, the first kernel bug on iOS 11.2 and newer that will be released, this is going to be a huge contribution for the jailbreak community. Now, if you take a looking here these are the iOS 11.2 firmware that are supported the iOS 11.2.2.1.2.2 and 0.2.5 for some reason probably uh, 584 and 483 uh, I don't know but anyways iOS 11.2.5 it's out of this Thing. Since uh, it's been patched in iOS 11.2.5, you can see here in the security content of the iOS 11.2.5, since it's patched in here, we can't use it on iOS 11.2.5. So the compatible firmware for this exploit or for this bug are iOS 11.2.2, 0.2.1, and iOS 11.2, and probably, of course, uh, even lower, but uh, the uh, lower firmware, like 11.1.2 and, you know, lower, are compatible with different exploits that are currently used. So, yeah, I have no idea how he's going to, to release the thing, whether he's going to uh, follow the uh, Jan Beer method and publish a write-up and a demo application that exploits the bug, or whether he's going to only publish the application or the code or i don't know the um, write-up itself or maybe he's going to combine them i have no idea how he's going to do it but no matter how he's going to release it in which form is still going to be a very very interesting thing since as i said this will be the first ios 11.2.x exploit or bug that will be published so yeah this might be very, very useful in the future for those of you who are waiting for a jailbreak on iOS 11.2 and 11.2.x. So, yeah, shit just got real. Yeah, do not update, by the way, to iOS 11.2.5. If you already did, uh, since, yeah, it's been released, you can go ahead and downgrade back to iOS 11.2.2, iOS 11.2.1, or iOS 11.2. These are currently safe firmer. If you're updating to iOS iOS 11.2.5, the exploit will not work, since, as I said, it's been patched in iOS 11.2.5, making 11.2.5 completely untouchable when it comes to this bug. So yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. I will keep you updated with anything that's going on with this uh, bug when it gets released and so on. And once it gets released, we'll probably get to know what he means by, uh, you know, you're not going to be impressed or stuff like that. I'm pretty sure that no matter how simple it is, it will still be a good vulnerability and it will still be a good bug to be exploited. So yeah, thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to stay updated. We'll keep you updated with anything that's going on in the jailbreak community. I'm Geosnow. Until the next time, peace out.